Yeah, man, everybody seen the video. You know, everybody seen it, you know. Uh, yeah, hopefully, man, we can go on and get this shit out of our system. You know, uh, it was very upsetting. Very upsetting. Really was. But uh, <clears throat> I'm sticking by what I said on yesterday. A lot of times, this type of shit happens in our community. A lot of times, you know. But now, what I don't agree with is is uh because of what happened to this young man, you know, they disbanding uh the unit. Now, I don't know much about uh the Scorpion unit. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact. I didn't know shit about the ass until all this transpired, you know. But I know that <clears throat> without units like that, we're going to have, goddamn it, man, an influx of crime that's, that's, that's going to be uh, so much within the within the city that, goddamn it, they ain't going to be able to curtail none of this shit, none of it. You know, they're having a hard time trying to, you know, uh, contain this shit now. You know, they, you know, uh, people won't ride down on the police. You know what I'm saying? And and, and as of yesterday, with, with what we're seeing, <clears throat> I can understand how a lot of people may feel. But at the same goddamn time, if something happened to your ass out here, the first people, goddammit, that most of us going to be looking to call are the motherfucking police. So now they got them in main, uh, scared to do their goddamn job, you know, because of what happened. It's going to be perceived by everyone that all of them conduct business the same way. Uh, I really wish that they had shown the dash cam video when they were first trailing, uh, Mr. Nichols to show whether he was driving recklessly or not. You know, I, I really wish they would have shown that, you know, before they show all these other fucking videos, they should have shown that video. So the public could determine whether he was driving reckless or not. But man, I said it to myself on yesterday, and I believe today that this shit was personal, man. This this wasn't, you know, I feel this shit was personal. Now, it's being said, it's being said that this shit happened over a woman. You know, it's being said that reportedly, Reportedly, Mr. Nichols may have been involved with one of those officers' wives. That's what's being said. <clears throat> I don't know if that was the case or not, but I I know that the beating looked personal. You know. Now I'm gonna get off on this on this uh marching and shit, man. We always wanna fucking march. I always want to march, man, when 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 a young black person, older black person, a black person in general, lose their goddamn life at the hands of the authorities. We always want to shut shit down, march on the motherfucking bridge and all this shit. But now, a young black man died last night on Beer Street at 3 in the morning. Where are these same motherfucking marches at? When this shit happens every day in the community. I don't see none of their ass when shit like this happens every day. I would have more respect for their ass if they were marched, goddammit, in solidarity for all these motherfucking murders being committed in our city every goddamn day. There was no motherfucking marching when a young man went throughout the city shoot motherfuckers down. There was no motherfucking marching. You know, we only have marches, goddammit, when it's police or white people killing niggas. And I feel that's fucked up. Now, like I said yesterday, yeah, 
you got some bad officers. You know what I'm saying? That was evident on that goddamn tape. But you got some good officers out there too. So I'm not going to get them a man, uh, you know, because of what happened to the young man, I'm not going to just say fuck the police. Although, God damn it, most times, that's how we feel. I'm not going to say that. You know, shit. If a nigga, God damn it, man, steal some shit from me, I, I would hope that they would come, God damn it, and, and if nothing else, take a report on the shit. You know. But now, yeah, because of all this is, they ain't going to want to do that. <laughs> if a motherfucker's in a car wreck, God damn it, man, if it ain't no serious accident, you know, they going to tell you to fire your motherfucking insurance. And if you was able to get the license plate of the motherfucker that hit you and ran, then you could come down to the station with that information. But, hell, yeah, they going to tell you they sure stab and they ain't going to be able to get down, come to the scene of your accident. Because of all this shit that done transpired, you know, if a motherfucker done got shot, you know, they may show up for that, you know. But as far as home burglaries and and, and car break-ins and car thefts, man, you can forget that shit. They not finna try to man waste their motherfucking time on that shit because, goddammit, we uh, don't want their ass to do their job. Mm -hmm. We don't want them to do their motherfucking job. You know. Now, until this shit simmer down and this crime pick up like a motherfucker, we're going to start hearing outcries again for the motherfucking police. You know. Man, why they ain't stopping these reckless motherfucking drivers that the roll right past their ass and all this shit. That's what we're going to be saying. You know. But when another incident like this occur, we're going to be saying fuck the police all over again. And see, motherfucker can't have it both ways out here. You can't. Now, the rush to judgment on these officers was pretty swift. You know, had they been goddamn it of another race, I truly believe this shit would have lingered on like a motherfucker. But because of the outcry behind this shit, they had to make an example out of them. Or did they? I'm just saying. Did they really? Mm hmm Yeah. A lot of people, man, have lost their life behind this shit. Not only did that young man lose his life, not only is his family suffering, them officers done lost their life, goddammit, and their career, and their family suffering too. Well, man, we don't give a fuck about them. Fuck them after what they did. Well, man, I still do, you know. I hate that happened to them, young man. You know, yeah, they took this shit too far. They really did, you know. But at the same time, man, goddammit, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of feel for their goddamn family as well, you know, because I know goddamn it that most of them, they family members didn't raise them to goddamn become the type officers that they became. They didn't, you know, but you can't hold kids' hands out here, you know, they got to live their own motherfucking life, and in life, you're going to make a lot of motherfucking mistakes, <clears throat> And sometimes them mistakes be made so costly that you can never recover from them motherfuckers. As they about to find out now. I'm talking about them officers. But yeah, man, uh, I just wanted to share that, man. You know, uh, yeah, I, I, I still feel bad, man, about what I saw. You know, but at the same time, man, I'm not going to say, man, that we don't need no law enforcement in this city, man. I'm not going to say that. Yeah, we still need them, you know. Shit. And, and, to be, and to be factual about the shit, they need us too, you know. But until, man, we as citizens can really sit down and, and talk to their ass and try to understand what's going on with them, they try to understand what's going on with us, Man, shit ain't gonna change. 
I still feel like they need to do a better job of screening people that they're hiring into the department. I do. So incidents like this won't occur again, you know. Yeah, the protest was peaceful, but goddamn, at what cost, man, was that even necessary? Why? You know, you got, I mean, it's, it's like one of was just being selfish and not being considerate of other people, man, by taking up the motherfucking highway, man, like that. I just don't understand. You got truck drivers, man, trying to meet uh, deadlines and shit with loads. You could have had, man, people in dire emergencies that needed to cross the motherfucking bridge and y'all tying up the bridge, man, when you didn't get what you want. So I don't understand this shit, man. You know. But again, had that same motherfucking energy now, goddammit, when black motherfuckers is killing black folks. Do that shit, goddammit. Uh, how come y'all had one out here marching this morning after that young man got murdered last night at 3 in the morning on Beer Street? Man, this shit crazy.